Hey guys, LEGO Mini here, and today I'm back with another haul. This is uh, from Bricks and Minifigs, as you can tell by the bag right there. Um, I actually stopped at two different Bricks and Minifigs uh, on my way back from work that day. Got this at the first one, and then the bag at the second one. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, show you guys what I got. So I'm going to start with the smaller tub for right now. Um, and while I was there, I was really focusing on getting, trying to find lots of... Uh, one by one plates, tiles, and cheese slopes, and then um, the usual like landscaping pieces and that sort of stuff that I always focus on too. But I of course got a wide variety, um, and yeah, you can see different stuff there. There's quite a bit of dark green in here because um, I really love dark green, and that'll be awesome for uh, doing landscaping and that sort of thing. Um, and like I said, I was getting a lot of the one by one plates, tiles, and cheese slopes there. Um, we've got a few weird pieces. We got this menu right here, which is kind of cool, I think. We got this um, Lego hockey puck, I think it is. I wanted one of these just because of how weird they are uh, for a long time, and I was finally able to find one. A few. Uh, window glass pieces, um, yeah, that's just a little look at what's in that one. And then now for the bag here, uh, again, quite a bit of the same focuses I was getting, but uh, obviously a lot more of it here, and um, yeah. There it is there. Um, so yeah, some of the same stuff. Um, I got more wedge plates at this second store um, in various colors, you know, ones that are good for landscaping and then just colors that I didn't have that much of. Um, got a few like Bionicle and Hero Factory parts right here. Um, just because I like that sort of, sort of stuff, um, and especially like mixing it with uh, normal system parts. Um, so when I see those, it catch my eye, and I get them. Got more minifigure stands here, um, because I like using those for borders uh, uh, builds. Um, we got random stuff here, you know. Uh, a few window frames and that sort of thing, um, and then again, of course, like plates and that sort of thing that can be used for landscaping. Um, but for now, let me go ahead and uh, sort this all out so that I can show you guys exactly um, what I got and uh, in more of like how much of everything I got. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I finished sorting it, and uh, now let me show you what I got. Uh, before I do that, I just want to apologize for the bad lighting. Um, I just want to get this thing filmed, so I'm just kind of dealing with it this time. Anyway, to start with, uh, here's the one by one plates that I got. Got lots of them, uh, which are always super useful for me, so I'm really happy to have gotten all those. Some one by one round plates right there. One by one, uh, round modified plates, with, so some are with the, uh, hole in the stud, and then some have the, uh, pinhole, uh, with the peg. We got one by two plates right there, which are nice and some uh, colors that I didn't have that many of more and just need because I use them all the time. One by three and also one by four plates. Uh, and then here we got just plates in general. Again, sorry for the really bad lighting. Basically all of the black is dark green um, or dark brown. Uh, so those are just some useful plates uh, for landscaping and that sort of stuff. Here we got modified plates, um, which is consists of a variety of different things right there. Um, you can kind of see a few of the different things there. We got some minifigure um, uh, stands right there. I like those for borders, so I always pick those up. We got a few windows, um, quite a few wedge plates. Those are nice. Those will be good for landscaping and such. Uh, we got some wedges, mostly in um, 
color is useful for landscaping, but then the orange and the yellow ones are just because uh, I thought they looked cool and I uh, might use them for vehicles or spaceships or something like that. Uh, we got a few standard bricks there just in colors that are um, more useful for me. Uh, here we got one by one modified bricks, got a lot of those which are always great to have. A few just normal modified bricks um, in other sizes right there. Then over here we have round um, bricks, so we got the 2x2 two two types as well as 1x1 one one cones and then we have the 1x1 uh, one one round bricks right there. Here we have slopes of all different types and colors um, and then a few inverted ones right there too. We also have some flowers uh, which I like. We got a lot of 1x1 one one cheese slopes. This was a big focus of mine along with the 1x1 one one plates and 1x1 one one tiles and I got a ton of them so I'm really happy to have done that. Uh, we got 1x2 cheese slopes right there and then the 1x2 grill slopes right there which I really like um, just in colors that I didn't have that many of before. Uh, the 1x1 tiles right there and um, I just use these in pretty much every color so they're always great to get. Here we've got um, 1x2 tiles right there again I use these all the time in pretty much every color um, so I always pick these up. Also right here we've got the only two non-LEGO pieces that I got right there which is pretty good considering how many pieces I got uh, and how quickly I was filling these things. Um, and then we also have the 1x1 one one round tiles right there as well. Coming back up here we've got normal tiles or at least the larger sizes than the 1x2's. Um, and then here we've got basically just new pieces that I haven't had before. Um, so there's this right here, I got two of those, I got one of these round plates with the um, holes there, some of the pyramid tree slope things, uh, the quarter tiles right here, um, as well as a semicircle one, and uh, then also one of these ingots in um, light bluish gray. So those are just new pieces that I haven't had before, um, or new colors of them and that sort of thing. Uh, coming back over here, we've got the 2x2 two two round things, so that includes dishes, uh, inverted tiles, plates, and plate or tiles, and then also tiles with the hole in them. Uh, we got road signs right there, I, like, I always like those, so I grab them. Uh, glass for windows. We got hinges right there. Uh, some Technic stuff right there, which is mostly the um, this right here, the one length of um, uh, the uh, connector, pin connector, whatever it's there called. Uh, here we've got the mech type stuff, so like T bars, robot hands, extra force arms, all that sort of stuff. Got Bionicle Hero Factory things right there. Um, just a few of them. Some interesting stuff. Then we've got sticker pieces right here. Uh, just got a few interesting ones plus um, these slopes right here. I didn't notice had stickers on them, so I wouldn't have grabbed them if I had seen that, but whatever. Uh, we got printed pieces right here. Some uh, kind of cool ones. I like the separatist things right here. Um, I'm totally going to use those in something and then I always love those. We got a few minifigure parts right here. Um, this is printed uh, but nothing too special there. And we just got random stuff right here. Um, Minecraft minifigure or microfig I guess. Some animal tusks. Um, yeah just tons of random stuff right there that my camera doesn't want to focus on. Sorry. Uh, anyway that is it for this haul. Um, it's definitely lots of awesome parts right here, and they will be super useful to me. I'm really hoping I can get to building some stuff soon, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show that stuff off to you guys. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again later. Bye.